Hi guys, it's me. Um, I wanted to make this video to share some news with you. Um, I wanted to wait till it was official before I talked about it on here, but um, uh, there's an event coming up in a nearby town, and they're having a bunch. They're having a, like a whole day full of, like different events for this in this town, and one of the things they're having is something called a road race. They have two different races. They have the one mile and the four mile. And I read about that and I thought I would love to try to do that one mile walk. I don't think I can. I don't think I can physically do it, but I would love to try. But I was really like, no, I can't, I can't even walk to the mail to the mailbox and back without getting tired. I can't walk to my car and back without getting out of breath. How am I going to walk a mile? How am I going to do this? And so I was, I was talking to a friend of mine about it, and she said, if you do this. I'll do it with you. I'll walk with you and we'll walk together. If you do this, I'll do it with you. Cause I think you can do this. This is something you can do. And I'm like, you're going with me? She said, yeah, I'll go with you. So that inspired me and encouraged me so much. And so to kind of train myself and prepare myself for this, I have been um, um, walking one mile every day. I take Saturdays and Sundays off and just kind of rest and sleep in. But I've been getting up in the early morning hours before it gets too too warm and too humid outside and walking for one mile. I use my Fitbit to track when I've walked a mile. And I don't include any steps I've taken before I go on the walk or after I go on the walk. It's just the walk itself. And so I've been walking for a mile every day for over two weeks now. And, um... So the event is on August 18th, and I can't believe I'm doing this. But I went yes, I went yesterday, and got registered officially for the race. So, but they said you can walk it, you can jog it, you can run it, you can do whatever pace you can do. Um, of course, they have trophies for the fastest people. I'm not gonna even, you know, I'm just gonna try and make it through the one mile. <laughs> so I'm just gonna try and survive the one mile. I'm not gonna try and earn a trophy or go fast. I'm not, you know, but um. Up until the other day, when was that? Up until Thursday of, of this week, um, I've had to stop and rest halfway through the mile. I've had to stop and rest. I only give myself between three and five minutes to rest and then get back up and then finish walking the mile. And my friend knows that. She said, we can stop and rest halfway along the way. We can stop and rest for a few minutes down and just rest wherever we are and we'll get up and keep going. And so, but I think it was a Thursday, um, I was able to go the full one mile without stopping and resting at all. And for me, that is huge. That's enormous because I didn't think that I was capable of that. Our, our bodies are so much stronger than we think they are. And and I'm, I'm so excited about this. I've been wanting to do a walking event for a long time, but a lot of them are too long for me to, you know, like, uh, Oh wait, what do they even call it? Like they have like the five miles and two point five miles and ten miles and it's just way beyond my scope of, of accomplishment. But I feel like the one mile was doable. But I wasn't convinced I could do it till my friend said, If you do this, I'll do it with you. I'll walk with you. So I went yesterday and got registered and I'm so excited about this and I just wanted to tell you guys because it's a huge deal for me. I haven't told anyone in my family because I, I would want them to kind of be there to watch me. But the event is taking place at 7 o'clock in the morning. And no one in my family is up before 10 usually. So <laughs> I know there's no way they'd be able to make it there anyway. So, but I'm very excited about this. I'm so, I just can't believe I'm... I can't believe I'm walking a mile every day. It doesn't seem even possible. Um, but I checked my Fitbit and I subtracted the numbers that were on there before my walk from the numbers after my walk to make sure I'm just tracking my walk itself. And I've been walking a full mile every day, except Saturdays and Sundays. I take those days off. But I'm just, I'm so excited about this because this is what I've been wanting to do for a long time. And, but didn't think I was capable of it didn't think I was physically able to do this 
And the good news is it's happening as early as it is, so it's not going to be too hot or too humid yet or too warm for me. It's going to be nice and cool. I think it's going to be a little bit overcast that day. So it's going to be a little bit cloudy and overcast, which is perfect. And so I'm just, I just wanted to share this with you because I'm really excited about it. So um, I thought about, I thought about taking my phone on my selfie stick and, and, and videotaping myself, video recording myself walking, but I'm out of breath and I'm puffing and puffing and panting and heaving and, and sweat pouring down my face. It's not a pretty picture. I'm not able to talk much anyway when I'm walking that far. So I haven't, I'm not going to be doing that. And I, I, I really doubt I'll record the walk itself. I want to have someone there to record me, to, to video record me coming across the finish line. Because that's going to be a very emotional moment for me, I think. And so I'm going to see if I have someone there that will just maybe use my phone and just video record me coming across the finish line. But um, this is a huge deal for me and something that I didn't think I was capable of doing. But I've since proven to myself that I am. And uh, so I just want to share this with you. So um, I appreciate your well wishes and your your thumbs up for me um, as I do this. I'll be sure to let you guys know how it goes and what happened and all that all that kind of thing. But it's going to be on um, August 18th, and that's a Saturday. And so I'm excited. Have I said I'm excited enough times yet? I'm excited about this. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and go. I love you guys. I would appreciate your cheering me on and your support and your your comments down below. Just tell me, you know, what you think about this. But we always, you know, especially when you have fibromyalgia or any kind of chronic pain or inflammation or arthritis or, you know, whatever illness, disease, whatever you have, you tend to think you can't do certain things. And our bodies are capable of more than we think they're capable of and I had a friend tell me because she knows I've been walking every day she said you've lost weight she started walking I'm like um no I haven't she said yeah you have and I'm like so I weighed myself on my weight scale the other day I weighed the exact same amount I did last month before I started walking so I I don't think I've lost weight at all I feel like I'm getting fatter not thinner but but I am walking for a mile every day and still get on the bike now and then so I'm going to go and shut up now and go. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching this. Listen to me ramble on. And I'll see you guys in the next video.